Alright, so for the first um, statement, that, that goes like creating a game app on cell phones that encourages people to get out of the house, exercise, and track down certain icons previously set up by GPS. However, now you learn that it encourages people to take unnecessary risks like climbing trees or navigating a cliff. We think it's still ethical because um, people do, like, just because it's on it, I mean, you gotta do it. And some people, you got thrill seekers in the world that will like to do it. So I think the unnecessary risk, some people like the unnecessary risk. People that don't, they don't have to do it. But it's something in it for everybody. Exactly. It's not like, um, it's not our responsibility if people are doing dumb stuff, basically. We can say in the app, like, don't take unnecessary risks to warn them. But we can put do at your own risk. Yeah, but we feel like um, the benefits of it, like we fight obesity, which is a big thing in America, and we think the benefits of it are way too big to not do it because of, you know, potentially dumb people doing dumb stuff. That's what are. So for number two, it says encouraging your clients to buy research services that is nice to know, but probably will not make a much of a difference. I say that's a great area because it's not really going to make a much of a difference in the services that you're doing and the client might not even really think it's important to them so they really not going to understand like why you're informing them like they'll some people might be oh thanks for telling me about this 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 it'll help me out and help me better choose what i want to choose but some people won't so i say it's a gray area mine um for the marketing, for the marketing research company has more business than that you can handle. Well, I wouldn't take on more business that I could handle because, um, yeah, I just, uh, your marketing research company has more business than you can handle. So, so you outsource the service to someone else. Your client was expecting your company to perform the research. Well, I would, if I was shorthanded of staff and stuff, I would hire more staff to, um, to where I could be able to take on more, more clients and take on more action and stuff. And I'd feel uncomfortable taking on more, more than what I could do. So, I would. I would hire more staff and uh, number four it says as a store manager you know cover store employees um, have invented a code that is announced over the speakers when the pretty girl enters the store and the code is we have a price code check in the aisle for this is to inform the employees that there is a pretty girl in that aisle. And that, that is unethical because that is a distraction in the workplace and it's really not, um, it's not, a uh, mature to do something like that. So the action you should take is stopping, uh, your employees from doing that. And you shouldn't feel uncomfortable about stopping them from trying to check a pretty girl out on work time. And number five says, in the first month of being the human resource manager of popular academia, Mark and Corilla, you realize the words chosen in the job test are easier for young people to understand. How will you handle a guest who wants to find a free Wi-Fi spot? Or how will you handle an out of control Justin Bieber guest? So... I mean, in the first one that says, how will you handle a guest who want to find a free Wi-Fi spot? Yeah. I would just try to to help him try to find like a well, like a like a Starbucks or something, so he can find the thing he wants to, to get. That is the Wi-Fi. And the other one, I think it's an unethical that is going. to He's taken that out of control, and I will try to calm him because it's a theme park and everybody's there just to have a good time, and that's unethical, and that's it. Okay, so.